Here's a question I get more often than you might think, especially from older men. Doc, sometimes I get aroused. I start to stimulate myself, but I don't finish. Is that harmful? Today, I want to break this down, honestly, medically, and respectfully. Because what happens during and after arousal, especially without orgasm, changes as we age, and it can affect your prostate, your hormones, and even your emotional health. Is section one, what actually happens in the body. When you become sexually aroused, your body releases a mix of hormones, dopamine, testosterone, norepinephrine, and blood rushes to the pelvic area. Your sympathetic nervous system gets activated. Your heart rate climbs, muscles contract, and the prostate and seminal vesicles prepare for release. But when you stop midway, without orgasm, that built-up tension doesn't just vanish. It lingers, physically and chemically. I remember a patient named Martin, 67, who came to me complaining of lower abdominal discomfort and irritability. He was active, mentally sharp, but told me he often started stimulating himself and lost interest halfway through. He thought he was just getting old. After a full exam and a conversation, we connected the dots. It was a cycle of arousal without release, leading to pelvic congestion and mental restlessness. We made small adjustments, breath work, stretching, even just acknowledging the pattern. And within weeks, his symptoms eased. So, is this dangerous? Not usually, but for older men, especially over 60, the risks are different. If you have benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or a sensitive prostate, that repeated buildup without release may lead to prostate irritation, testicular heaviness, sleep disturbances, and emotional frustration. Think of it this way. Your body initiates a process, and when that process is left incomplete, you may feel physically tense or emotionally unsettled. That's not weakness. That's biology. Now here's where it gets deeper. Arousal without resolution can become a pattern of emotional avoidance. I've worked with men who engage in the act not because they want pleasure, but because they're trying to numb loneliness, boredom, or stress, and they never finish. Over time, that can blunt the natural reward system, lowering dopamine sensitivity, and increasing feelings of emptiness or frustration. I tell my patients, sexual energy is meant to flow, not get stuck. You don't always need to finish, but you do need to understand the effect it has on your system. Another man, 72, I'll call him Joe, came to me not with pain, but with what he called mental static. He'd start arousing himself as a distraction, but never finish. Over time, he noticed a dip in mood, motivation, and even confidence. What was really happening? Dopamine spikes without resolution were rewiring his reward system. His brain stopped feeling satisfied. We addressed it with mindfulness, schedule changes, and reduced reliance on late-night habits. His energy and clarity came back. In conclusion, what can you do if you find yourself frequently aroused but not climaxing? Step 1. Practice pelvic floor relaxation, such SS, gentle stretches, or warm baths. Step 2. Use mindful arousal. Be intentional, not rushed or distracted.